Hey, what's going on guys? Gary Oak here, and I'd like to bring you my second Let's Play as Warcraft 3. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to be skipping all the cinematics because I don't know how to get this working correctly with XSplit for some stupid reason. Basically, it just resized my screen because I'm using two very widescreen monitors with my computer, and XSplit doesn't really like recording off that, so... If anyone has a way to fix it, then let me know. So until then, there will be no cinematics. So let's, without further ado, Chapter 1, Chasing Visions. Somewhere in the Arathi Highlands, Thrall, the young warchief of the Orgish Horde, wakes from his troubling dream. Yes, I will be silent let's for the RP bits. Um, let's see if I can fix my uh, my sound here a little. I'll turn up sound effects by just a bit. Hopefully that's not too intrusive. Yes. Luckily I've got these videos as um, However, the orc encampment is still far as off. ways to uh, in order to or good, as guinea pigs. The path to the next banner leads through notice how the black area shrinks. Now what moves is through. really gonna throw me off is I have to have basically explored. play in windowed mode. Select and order him to move my to cursor banner, basically goes to the right of my screen whenever I move it. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how to, to deal with this. Now that your troops we'll see if this is playable though. I sense a no the war chief. You order Thrall's forces to Dabu. defeat this foul creature. Select all of your troops, let's click on, on the board. attack button, and then click on the Knoll. Yeah, let's yeah. use Farsight. This was only a scout, but the Knoll's camp lies just ahead. Order your troops to an aggressive attack move into the enemy. I revealed camp. a random piece of nothing. To do this, select all of your troops, click the attack button, and then oh, I knew I was doing something wrong in the middle of the Knoll camp. I knew I was doing something wrong. Always show health bars. For honor. Yeah. Something was definitely missing. What do you want? I, I am. Yeah, a new skill point. Chain lightning for the win. No regard, no God. Yeah, I just tried yes. to uh, scroll to the right for there, honor. and uh, yes. that didn't work too well. Dabu. You see, the problem is when I play full screen, it resizes my monitor, and when it does that, XSplit doesn't want to record properly. So I'm not exactly sure how to get around that. We'll see where we can get, though. I'm just playing through these uh, tutorial levels just for fun. Potions of mana can be used to replenish a hero's mana, the magic energy that allow the casting of spells such as chain lightning. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my Heroes of Might Magic 1 playthrough. That was definitely a success, I'd say. Although, if you're watching this right when it came out, then you'll probably be wondering, where are all the HOM 1 videos? Because I basically i am talking like it's complete. And it really isn't. But what I did is I actually completed the entire game and I set it to auto publish one video a day for 10 days. Or, blah, I don't know how many days it is. But, um, one every single day until it's finished. And the game is done, rest assured. I did beat the game. So it's all a matter of time before it's all uploaded. I believe January 9th is the last day. Or January 7th. No, January 7th is my final. Here's my magic one day. This is, that's actually the day I go back to school. For honor. Be taking probably three courses. Yes. I'm going to be taking an acting class and two writing-based courses. Either one will be creative writing, I'm not sure what yet, and the other will either be creative writing or, draw, or uh, English. It depends on how the waitlist shakes up. I most likely will be getting into uh, 
Let's get like, yeah, it really depends. I really want to get in the genre fiction workshop. If I can't get yes. into that, though, then I'll have to take, um... Dumb. English 115, unfortunately. I really want to write genre fiction, but I do have to learn, um... Some university English. Sadly. It's a requirement if I want to get any sort of, uh, degree. Did I miss a... A waypoint there? Let's see if it did. Uh, apparently F9 is... Oh, I know why F9 doesn't work, because it's a X-Split binding. So yeah, I'll get there. And encounter some more roleplay. Aw, yeah. Give me that roleplay. Greetings, son of Duritan. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young war chief, about you and your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? The demons are returning. Yes. And only by leading your people across the sea, to the distant lands of Kalimdor, will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we- I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. None of this makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. And there's the ever-so-challenging level one. It's just interesting playing through this as a Warcraft, like a old World of Warcraft hand. Anyway, Chapter 2, Departures. Three days later, near the Lordaeron coast. It's been three days, and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting you. Warchief! The clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grahel Scream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grahel. Where the hell are you? Well then, the blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been updated. Got to build a burrow, got to build. This is the basic uh first mission of Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2. It's kind of cool that they kept it in for posterity's sake. has been ordered to harvest gold. You will automatically travel back and forth. Now, it's kind of interesting playing this as I was uh, saying before the story kicked in again. Uh because I've I've played through a lot of WoW, and I've fought so many of, like, the, you know, the World of Warcraft bosses, and, uh... It's just kind of cool seeing the WoW characters in here, like, you know, Kel'Thuzad, like, after you've done Nax Ramus a billion times. Let's target organic units. What? Oh, he's a mechanical. How is a Null Poacher mechanical? That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion. Oh well. For some reason the game thought it was mechanical. I may as well do this. Uh not being able to scroll up is so annoying. Additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. 
burrows provide the food that allows Yeah, I actually need to use these uh, potions and stuff. The burrow, select one of your peons. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a It just now realizes that I placed a rally point. You will automatically travel to the That's rally point location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right click on the ground. All right, so I need to build a burrow and something else. Oh, I get something. And luckily I have rally points. Yes. Now click on the build structure see, button build in the command card. And then Ready I wonder if work. I can rally. Yeah, this Notice that this. additional buttons are now available in the command I wonder if that works. Construct an orc burrow. That would be kind of cool if it, if it button. did. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. What's burrow? Once you have found the oh, appropriate oh, location, B -O. left click to begin construction. I got some mass BO dude. Happy <laughs> to. Yes. Uh let's see, I need a war mill Ready too to as work. well, I think. Yeah, I do need a war mill. Yeah, let's build a mill. Well placed up war mills here. can increase the efficiency of your lumber harvesters. And yeah, I guess you can Q like that. Uh what Ready what else work. do I need? War mill barracks and grunts. So that's Let's all I need. Uh, what? Where else can I go? Let's see if there's anything there. Scroll of healing. Uh, that should be enough macro going. The StarCraft player in me is going to try and macro really hard, and uh, War Warcraft Three is like doesn't know what macro is usually. All right, so I can get some grunts. Spam them grunts. Is there anywhere else I can explore here? No. Oh, I've already explored everywhere. That's a shame. Yeah, see, it's not moving up because, uh... The unfortunate thing of playing in windowed mode. I really do need to ask someone how to fix this because I will not be able to play this game much. Never mind on hard. Oh, I get some upgrades. We need more gold. I'll be a newbie and queue some. Because I can. Yeah, I get some armor going. And I may as well just wait here. Keep everything rallied on. Crawl. Alright, I've got my maximum. I may have a bit too many guys saturating my uh, gold mine. I definitely have way too many peons on lumber. Like, see, that's just me used to building, like, a billion SCVs. Uh, let's see. I think I have just enough. Yeah, I have just enough uh, supply. I don't need to build another burrow. So, with luck, I'll be able to keep production of grunts up, no problem. Yeah, I've got just enough production to do this. I'm really gonna have to click on the minimap a lot to move anywhere, which is so annoying. The spirits are Meanwhile, Thrall regenerates. I don't even know if he could gain experience from that. Like, I, yeah. Which is that kind of sucks. But yeah, the cool part about playing WoW and then going back to uh, Warcraft Three is, um, even though I haven't played WoW in about a year and a half, I still remember all these locations. It's like I remember exploring and grinding in this location and interacting with this character and doing quests with this, that character, etc, etc. So it's kind of a neat little experience. We need more gold. You notice a lot more little details about the game than you normally would as well. Oh, there's a little, little signpost there. That's what I'd say the coolest part is. Just noticing little bits and pieces. Research Which shows you how rich the Warcraft lore is. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Krom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lok Tarogar! 
Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. And that's why I waited here. For honor. Oh, F8 is idle workers. That's interesting. And waste chain lightning like a champ. Yes. The wretched humans have been destroyed. Withdraw and the rest of your forces are across the bridge and locate. Thanks for telling me to move my forces across the bridge when I've already done it. Oh well, time to find Grom. Yes. Uh, I may as well build a burrow. What do you want? I can do this. One of your structures was damaged during the fight. To repair was one of my structures damaged? Select the peon. Click the repair no, one of them wasn't damaged. The you silly game. Oh, it won't let you queue up even if you're supply capped. I'm used to being able to do that. A la StarCraft style. Yeah, no, may as well just ignore these towers and rush to the end as quickly as possible. I can kill these humans, though. Yeah, give them some chain lightning, Thrall. Thrall is like the biggest badass ever. Like, you don't realize how big of a badass he is until, uh, Durnhold Keep. Caverns of Time, that is an awesome map, by the way. Yeah, I know, I'm queuing up a lot of grunts, and I'm a noob for queuing units up, but there's no more efficient way to spend resources. Oops. I almost attacked my own guy, and I lost control of all my units. Let's get on. When you control multiple spellcasters, yeah. I like how this is kind of a halfway point between um, StarCraft 2 and uh, Warcraft 3. Yes, I don't even have Bloodlust. What a ripoff. No Bloodlust. Come on. But uh, you can tap between. Tap between your guys in your control group, so it's a pretty smart control group, and it's got all this smart casting stuff. But uh, at the same time, you can only have 12 guys per control group, but the 12-man control group doesn't hinder you at all. Oh, I'm supply capped again. Oh, too bad. Ah, uh, get out of there. War Chief, we found where they're holding Grom, but the area is protected by Fortified Guard Towers. Then destroy them. Darn this smart AI. Must be freed. Should give me a catapult. Take these guard towers down. I can't even send in wolves, which is unfortunate. Get out of there, micro back. Oh, and it's shooting my caster unit. Oh, well, this grunt's dead. Oh, he's not dead. No, no, he is dead. Wasn't sure whether or not he wanted to die or not. Oh well, but I got my reinforcements. I'm surprised it's not telling me about the uh, dangers of upkeep. And there we go.
I always thought the Orcish Horde was a little bigger than uh, enough guys to fit into three ships. But that's just me. And there we go, Exodus of the Horde complete, and haven't been going on this for too, too long, so we'll start with the Scourge of Lordaeron. There's probably going to be a hiccup in video because of a cinematic. Hopefully not. Yep, there is. Let's skip it. Sorry, guys, for the video flub. But that's what happens. My computer, like, doesn't know what to do when it's confronted with a uh, cinematic. Okay, Chapter 1, The Defense of Strongbad. Sounds like Strongbad. Recent orc uprisings in the southern Lordaeron have forced the Alliance to take decisive measures. To contain the orcish threat, King Terranus has sent two of the realm's greatest paladins, his son, Prince Arthas, and the legendary Uther the Lightbringer to deal with the orcs once and for all. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. And the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terranus sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on him. It is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Strongbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the orc's base immediately. Could you handle Strongbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. And here we go, the first real mission of the game. So I have to free Strongbad from, uh... For my father, the king. From the, oh, Sir Scroll of Protection hidden within the crates. crates. That's why I did this. I forget a lot for about honor. the little, uh, details of the game, so... For honor. A sound I will be trying to get, Certainly. get most Reading of the secrets. For honor. A sound but, uh, yeah, this game is just so epic. I remember playing this as a kid for the first time and I just was blown away. Of course. We'll fight for Lord Aron. Get your swords. Give me more footmen. I should really turn subtitles on. Let's see. Options. And no. I mean, is it under sound? Yeah, it is under sound. Let's put the subtitles on. Justice Jump. I'm so glad that you can uh, use waypoints in this game. What's funny is I played through Warcraft 3 and I originally when I was a kid. Please, you're my only hope. A group of gnolls kidnapped my little Timmy and took him to their hideout in the forest. Could you find him and bring him home? Yeah, I I had no idea about waypoints honestly until Starcraft 2 and I was like, oh you could do that? That's how big of a noob I was. Like for so many years, I just had no idea. Help me, please! I'm trapped in the cave. I wonder if one of the Blizzard employees actually got their uh, little son to do that, or if like one of the girls at the office recorded that. Run along, little Timmy. You're safe. For you. Yeah, give me that ring. Justice is come. Plus one ring protection. Of course. They seem like so amazing plan. items, and then when you're like, you For know, honor. six levels into the campaign, you're like, oh, this is really bad. Oh, holy late's T. Okay. For honor. Oh, I guess it can't be H because H is hold position. All right, makes sense. Certainly. 
Only thing is, like, you can't customize the keybinds, and this game still has, like, very non-intuitive keybinds, like... Certainly. I'm pretty sure P is peasant, and that's gonna annoy the heck out of me. For honor. Whereas, like, StarCraft 2 has, like, the intuitive keybinds. Certainly. On the right-hand side. Take everything, man. Take all the valuables. It's gotta pull back a little bit, deal with the bandits. Should be micring, I'm just gonna watch the health bars and Holy Light. Because Holy Light is awesome. Certainly. Bam. Easy peasy. Justice yeah, give me that scroll. The light is my strength. And level two. Yeah, I'm gonna get Devotion Aura. For honor. May as well get Devo to buff Certainly. my troops. For I won't honor. need. Um, sound divine shield for a while. Help! Bandits are stealing our belongings. <laughs> we'll take their coin just like everyone else's. No, Certainly. not the bandits. Those bandits stole my ledger. Without it, I will lose my entire farm. Please retrieve it from their camp. Ah, oh, poor guy. So much to us. You think Prince Arthas would be able to be like, look, I'm the prince. Uh, I'll just write, you know, the local head of authorities this, like, letter and tell him that the bandits stole the ledger and I witnessed it and I don't need to get it back. But may as well dispense justice and kill a bunch of bandits. I was completely blown away by the story's plot because I was, or the game's plot, because... I was used to, like, Say your prayer. not that in-depth of a plot, because you could, in Warcraft 1 and 2, you basically chose your faction and played as that faction, and the outcome of the game would depend on whether you chose Orc or Human. And, um, some of the canonical, or some of the missions on both sides of the game had, um, like, canonically happened, some of them didn't. For example, like, at the end of Warcraft 1, um, the orc ending is a canonical ending. I stand for the light. I'm not sure how Justice much of the human campaign actually came Certainly. true in Warcraft 1. I think quite a bit of it of did, course. though. A sound plan. And in... Let's see, Warcraft 2, yeah, the humans won both times. Of course. It is pretty cool, though. Like, for honor. this one, uh, I didn't expect that. Please, take this item. Yeah, I got some nifty tome. For honor. Oh. I wanted to see what happened if I could like holy light him and save him. Get out of there, footman! Get out of there! Is he gonna reacquire target on my damage footman? No, he isn't. He's not quite that smart. Well, let's use some healing. I know it's a bit, it's a teensy, weensy bit wasteful, but I remembered always like having to juggle items later on in the game because I was too conservative. Of course, villagers. Oh, there's ghosts in here apparently. Of course, there's a ghost. That's kind of neat. I wonder if there was like someone in the office or like someone related to Blizzard that died a really tragic death named Dean. That sounds a bit morbid, but um, I remember someone dying really tragically in World of Warcraft, or well, dying really tragically. That was like a Blizzard employee, was, like 19 or something. It was like this really sad story, and they made this really long quest line in World of Warcraft in um. What was it? A sound plan. Ice Crown, that's it. Ice Crown. And you basically had to try to save him. Like, you had to go to different places. Like, you had to go to, like, Shatar City and, like, try and get the Naru to help him and all that jazz. It's actually really cool. Like, his family really appreciated what they did for him. So I'm wondering if that's, like, a reference. Or if... This thing, Blizzard has so many... Really subtle references in their games. A sound plan. Certainly. That's one of the things that makes them so fun. At least they're old games. A sound I don't know, old Blizzard games just seem to be more um Certainly. more cool. All these wretches off with the rest of them. 
Move them out. When I say that, I don't know. It just felt like it was more personal, I guess. A sound plan. Certainly. With their old games as opposed to their new ones. Of course. Because of their old games, they felt a, like they were a lot smaller of a company back then, and they were a lot more. They're a lot bigger bros back then. Justice has come. With their new games, there feels to be a bit of a disconnect, and at least in some regards, that's just me though. Then again, I've been a Blizzard fanboy since 1995, so this is back when like Warcraft 2 was new. Of course, for honor. Bob's guns, good old Starcraft reference. You are past of course. Now let's finish off this slave right. master. Of course. Certainly. A sound plan. See, there might even be an achievement for um Certainly. killing like beating this level on hard without losing a unit or something. But achievements didn't exist back when this game came out, fortunately. I'm like both. I'm like half and half on achievements, like half ach four achievements, half against them, because people who knew me when I played WoW knew that I was really, really big on them, but I'd, I'd rather they just weren't there. But since they were there, I ran after the jingly keys. Of course. Bless you. Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. And that's it, guys. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a starting video. Um, as always with starting videos, there's probably going to be a few problems with it, so I'll see what kind of problems I had and I'll see if I can fix them for the next time. And if they're unfixable, I, I'll probably just end up... you won't even see this video, so I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and if you like, like, comment, subscribe, laugh at me for being terrible. I don't care. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.